Good morning. Today, I am going to give you guys a quick tour of my off-grid electrical setup. So this is the setup that I will be installing next year after I build my house. And this is the electrical system that my whole house will be hooked up to. So I'll give you a rundown. This is a 12 kilowatt grow watts all in one inverter. So I didn't want to mess around and get MPPTs and AC inverters and have all this stuff separate. I actually priced everything out for a similar setup and it was about the same amount of money and a lot more work and it just didn't seem necessary. So I got an all in all in one grow watt, 12 kilowatt inverter. And so what this does is it takes power from the solar panels, which are outside right now. And it takes DC power. You plug it in there, positive and negative and it converts it to DC or keeps it DC. It's a charge controller for the battery bank. And so my battery bank is eight 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries. These things are pretty awesome. Um, and so there's four on the bottom in series, four on the top in series, and they're connected in parallel on this side, parallel. And then there's one wire here this is the negative end and it runs all the way into the inverter and then the positive end into the inverter. So here we go. Negative right here, runs along the floor and it comes up, comes up right into the negative terminal. So right here, plugs right in, positive. Positive aside, comes over, comes through a 250 amp circuit breaker, just in case. And then it runs through a disconnect switch. So I can just turn that on and off to disconnect the batteries from the inverter whenever I want to work on it or do something. So this just connects straight to the positive battery terminal of the inverter. Um, and so, yeah, solar will just get charge controlled and charged into these bad boys. These all have their own built-in charge controller thingamajigs inside of there so it's pretty safe that's how it's supposed to be set up i'm not worried about anything bad happening to these guys uh the only thing i needed to do was a quick manual calibration of this guy and i took a a volt voltage meter and i put it from this end all the way over to the other end and i got i forgot what it was at the time it was like maybe 53.2 or something but i just hooked it up to a computer and I input manually the voltage of the whole battery bank uh, that is, you know, in series all the way across, which was 50, 53.2. And I input that and then now it just knows what these are at and it just keeps track of them here. Um, so solar charges these guys. And when the solar goes away, well, actually, when the, when the sun's out, the sun this thing can convert the DC from the sun directly into AC, which is my breaker box for my house. And this thing will power the whole house. Um, and so during the day, the sun can power whatever loads you put on it. So this is just a basic breaker box. I got a hundred, sorry, I'm getting notifications on the side. Um, I got 150 amp breaker. And down here, there's a 20 and a 15 amp circuit breakers the 20 runs through this 12 2 wire straight into an outlet just like it's wired in a house you can see right there it's uh it's correctly wired and then this outlet is just plugged into this air purifier and yeah that's how you wire a house you just run a bunch of these all over the house and then you have a power system um so this guy it's got a it's got a hot one, hot two, and then a neutral. So those three wires run up here and they run into this guy. So there's like one bar over here and one bar over here. So you'll get 120 here, negative 120 and the neutral in the middle. And yeah, that's how you wire this up. And then this is grounded. So there's a ground wire that goes to this ground bus bar over here. So this is grounded to the ground bus bar. This guy is grounded to the ground bus bar and the batteries, everything is all hooked up to the ground bus bar. Then it runs outside and it goes to a grounded rod that is slammed into the ground. So everything is all grounded properly and ready to go. 
So that's how my system works. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there was a little bit of a learning curve when I was trying to figure it all out, but honestly, if you're trying to ever set one up, just get a grow watt all in one or some kind of all in one uh, charge controller and AC converter. You get this guy, just plug and chug everything. Now, this guy, it works, right? It's wired correctly. I can run appliances, I can run a heater on there, whatever. But for my electrician friends, is this thing wired correctly? Like, how am I supposed to wire this into this correctly? Maybe to keep it up to code wherever you are. Because um, it works and I know it's done correctly, but I'm not sure if it's done correctly. And that's my new $350 shotgun I got last week. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run an extension cord. And I'm going to run it out to my yurt that I built yesterday. And I got a little cot coming in. And I'm going to go sleep in the yurt with a heater inside of there. Run off of my off-grid electrical system. And then I'm going to set up my solar panels so they actually face the sun properly. And see if I can sleep out there a couple nights. And keep the batteries charged up while using the heater at night. So these are all connected with some 2 slash 0 welding wire that my dad conveniently had laying around the garage and i forgot what size these were maybe like 5 16ths or 3 8 hardware that battleborn sent out so um yeah they're just connected to some 2 slash 0 connectors i had to buy a special crimping tool um so if you're ever going to do this definitely get this tool you got your tool stick your wire and your crimp in there kind of hold it down put on a piece of concrete and then smash it with a hammer until it gets smashed down and then some heat shrink and it looks really good. Over here to the ground wire or the grounding rod that's outside. I just have some four out wire. These are all six out. So six out running into the AC inverter, six out running from, I think it was six out from the solar panels. Okay, so correction, the solar cable is 10 gauge or 10 out, sorry. 10 out solar cable. So, there's my solar panels. Like I said, I just have them wired together temporarily, obviously, so that I could prove that it actually works. But yeah, right now they're covered in snow. I'm gonna clear them off. I'm gonna use that extension cable. And as you can see, the sun's kind of behind all these trees over here. It comes from over there, it rides up, and then kind of goes over there in the winter. In the summer, it's kind of like straight up. But in the winter it goes over there and so I need to put the solar panels somewhere in this area within 20 feet where I can charge them up for real there's my yurt so this yurt I'm gonna run an extension cord out there and put a space heater in there and I have a cot coming and I'm just gonna camp out there see how warm I stay because I'm gonna do some pretty serious winter camping in the upper peninsula of Michigan pretty soon. And so I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna use a wood burning still because I won't have electrical out there yet. Your little pause are cold, Max? That's what I said. Good boy. I decided to set the solar panels up. Right along here. So I got my 20 foot extension. So this will be interesting to see how many amps I get out of this with the solar panels actually facing the sun because I didn't care before but now I care all right so there they are all facing the sun you can see the shadow Boom! the battery is at 52 volts right now and if I scroll through my little settings output is 240 uh, PV input, hold on, maybe I skipped it. PV input is 123 watts, and the PV input is two amps. So we are drawing two amps right now with the solar panels actually facing the sun, whereas before when they were buried in sun, we were getting like 50 volts and zero amps. So it was maybe like trickle charging the batteries, but now we're actually getting two amps, which is not that much, but it's better than nothing. So we're getting 103 volts from the solar right now. Now remember, it is a 
It's a 60 volt solar panel array. So we have five 12 volts, which is 60 volts, but when the sun's out, this thing goes a little bit higher. So I got this extension cord that I'm gonna plug into my electrical system and run out to that yurt for my space heater. So that extension cord, I literally stuck it through the window in the spare bedroom in my parents' house. And where is it? Now I'm gonna plug it into here. <laughs> this is so autistic, but so necessary. So now we put it to the real test. These guys are charging up for later. I got a space heater and a wire splitter extension cord thing. I'm gonna go in the yurt, plug it in. All right, there's my space heater. Yurt's 10 feet tall. Pretty sure this is my cot. Made in China, and that's my motorcycle. Sleeping. All right, that's my cot. That's where I will sleep in the yurt. There's my space heater. Let's test it. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's not plugged in.